Hi guys, in my last video I showed you how to bring in the cool WebView component from the React Native WebView library and today we're going to take things a step further and add a prop that will let us keep an eye on changes happening inside WebView so we can take control back to our React Native application and render other components if you wanted to. We'll be visiting the same OpenAI blog post we viewed last time and in case you missed it I also shared the WebView API reference it's got tons of props you can use to make the most out of your web view. So today we're going to take advantage of one of those props and that's the on navigation state change. Let's get started. All right, guys. So this was the component we created last time. We imported it from the React Native web view library and added two props to it. One was the source, which contains the URI pointing to OpenAI blog post. And the other one is the style. We added some styling suit to make the web view fit within our simulator view, uh, creating the spaces at the top of the simulator and a little bit of space at the bottom. But today we'll be adding a new prop. And last time I showed you the React Native Web View reference or API reference, and I showed you tons of the props that we can make use of um, to take advantage of Web View. Today, we'll be working with on navigation state change. And if we take a look at the documentation here, specifically the example, it'll give us a good idea of how this function works. Um, it receives a navigation state, or they call it a nav state, but it receives a, a parameter that contains a couple of properties or a bunch of properties, as you can see here. And one of those properties that we can take advantage of for our application is the URL property. And so we, if we copy this here, we copy this example here and use it in our application. Now we have the on navigation state taking a nav state. And now we know that inside that nav state, every time there is a um, transaction within the web view, will receive an object with a bunch of properties and within those properties, the URL property will be in there. All right, now we have the on navigation state prop and that on navigation state prop takes in a function and that function receives a parameter. That parameter is an object. We know that object is going to be, it's going to contain a URL property and we can use that URL property to then see where our user is navigating within the web view. That will give us a, a, a glimpse to what the user is doing on the web view or, or within the page of the web view. One way to manipulate what the user is seeing or manipulate what we render for the React Native application is by taking a look at the URL the, the user is navigating to. And then we can decide whether or not we want to let the user continue looking at the web view or if the user is going to take a look at a different component that we can create within our application. And one way to do that is by adding a conditional statement here where we take a look at nav state and specifically take a look at that URL and see if that URL includes um, the URL or not the URL, but the link that we're interested in taking action or taking control of. In this case, we can call it slash API. So if the URL the user is navigating to includes an slash API in it, then we can make a state change within our application. And that state change will indicate whether we show the web view or not. So for that, we'll call it set show web view. This will be false. So let's say the user clicks on slash API. We don't want the user to go to slash API for some reason. We just want to take control back of what we are showing the user um, in our application. So we set that show web view to false. And of course, we need to create that function. Or I'm sorry, we'll need to create that variable. Uh, we'll use it we'll create that variable using use state. So we'll 
have one variable that would be show web view and the other one would be set show web view. This would be use state and we'll initialize that state to true. So it'll behave the same way. We'll be showing our web view right at the beginning of opening the application. But then if the user selects or navigates to a specific URL, in this case, the slash API or any URL containing slash API, then we'll decide not to show that web view anymore. And we can add some logic to show a new view. And to show that new view to the user, we'll take the state and then run a conditional statement based on the value of that state. So what we'll do is we'll take that show web view and we'll render a conditional statement where we will be showing the web view if our state is true or we'll be showing a separate view um, if our show web view state is false. In our case, I got something here that we can show, fix this here. All right, so now we have a show web view state um, and a set show web view from view state. We're gonna be manipulating that state based on what the user clicks within our web view. So what we'll do from the get-go is just show the web view to the user pointing to OpenAI. If they navigate to about, it'll be fine. If they go back to blog, it'll be fine. As soon as they click on the API, that URL contains a slash API in there. We'll detect that change and set our show web view to false. That will cause our view to re-render and in this case show web view will be false and show a different component in our case we're just showing a simple view with a text component saying this is my app we can see the functionality again if we refresh our app here it'll be reset to true or the show web view state will be reset to true that'll make our web view to be render again, but then again, we click on API, that URL contains a slash API within there. We'll detect that change from web view and render our new view. That's all I have for this video. I hope you learned something new by adding this node property and be able to navigate back and forth from your web view to other components within your React Native application. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.